Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I will show you the applications of JK flip flop. So, open the simul ID. Now, as you can see, we have already connected the circuits. So, the upper one works as up counter, while the second one is designed so that it will count in the down mode. Okay, so as far as uh, this particular first design is concerned we have used the JK flip-flop under the memory whereas for the second one we have used the IC7476 that you will find under the IC74 series so both will work fine now we'll go with the up counter first so remember all the inputs of JK flip-flop must be connected to VCC so remember S and R which are active low inputs must be connected to the VCC so that uh, no set and reset will happen similarly J and K inputs are shorted or connected together and again it is connected to VCC then and then only the output of JK flip flop will toggle then this is an asynchronous counter the output of first flip-flop drives the clock input of second one and so on so this is an 3-bit up counter for giving the clock pulse instead of using the clock source which is available under the clock we have used a fixed voltage so that we can manually give rising age and falling age signals so let's start with the simulation as you can see we are now going to verify only the first half that is the up counter now right now we have 0 0 0 at the output all the three LEDs are off this flip flop JK flip flop is a positive age trigger so when we turn this power supply on it will generate a rising age on this clock input which will be considered as active age and the flip flop will toggle okay so let's make it one and now you can see on the rising age of this clock d0 turns on so earlier the data is 0 0 0 and now it is 0 0 1 on the next active age of the clock so next time when you turn the supply on that means the next time when you give the clock pulse you'll get 0 1 0 again you get 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 finally we get 1 1 1 all the three LEDs are now on if you apply one more clock pulse it will go to 0 0 0 okay now at the same time if you go with the down counter okay so right now all the three LEDs are on okay? and similarly here also we have connected all the inputs of JK flip flop to VCC okay? So S bar, R bar, J and K, all the inputs are connected to VCC and then only, then only the output Q will toggle. This one is also an asynchronous counter. So the output of first flip-flop is connected to the clock input of second. Now the difference between the up counter and down counter is, the first thing is this clock is an falling age triggered flip-flop whereas this one is an rising age triggered one for up counting we connect Q bar of the flip-flop to the clock input of the next flip-flop whereas for the down counting we connect Q output of the first flip-flop to the clock input of the second one okay. so already the simulation is on and now if we apply a falling gauge that means when this input goes from 5 volt to 0 you can see the down counting begins so earlier it was 111 1, 1, 
and now with the application of falling edge it has gone to 110 next 101 so this second d1 is now off and what data we have at the output is 101 then we have 100 011 0 1 0 0 1 and finally with the application of eighth clock pulse we get 0 0 and if you apply one more falling gauge at the input of the first flip flop you get 1 1 1 okay so this is the down counter and this is how we can uh, design up counter and down counter using the jk flip flop so this simul id with the help of this simulation tool you can verify all such designs thank you for watching the video please subscribe like and feel free to share it with your friends thank you